What is up, everyone? We are back for another Wednesday uh, night match. Uh, we got Ithaca versus um, Jay. Wait, Jay. <laughs> I am so bad at this. J N H J V, and we're looking to get um. Champ pick started here soon. Um, just waiting on one more player to log into the lobby, and then we'll be all set. So Ithaca is was it? So we're currently at now our for the fourth match in the uh, season. Ithaca has gone zero three, so they're really gonna need. Uh, to win this one in order to start getting some points for uh, natural competition. Due to the last season being uh, a very successful season for Ithaca, um, they do have a lot of points built up from that season. And it looks like that bands have started. Uh, let's pull up over there. It looks like a first band from uh, University of New Haven is going to be a set ban. That's typical. We've been seeing that a lot as they don't want to see the set on the board. Typically, another ban we see is uh, a Yone. Um, but if they plan on playing that, then we'll see. And there we go. The Yone ban as called. Set in Yone immediately off the board as is though Crisis is two scariest um, or main players. He has been playing a lot of Yone lately, so that makes sense why they would ban it in general. As we're still going off uh, last week's same patch, um, Annie's going to be um, another viable option here um, to see uh, with some of those buffs. And also Vegar. So I'm curious if Vegar or um, Annie will be played here in mid by either team. So we got a Maokai ban, a Janna ban, and a, a Vladimir ban. And an action. Are they just banning all of top lane so far. I guess action is all that can be switched also down from mid, so that makes sense. Udi are going over the New Haven. What we've been seeing in the past like few matches so far is uh, from other schools is that Udi can be played like you really need some help from your team in early game with Udi or um, he is a tank, but if you don't really know how to play him very well with all um, his like different elements, um, it can get very confusing. And Ithaca pulling out the Pantheon, that's probably going to be going up in top lane, most likely, uh, from Crisis. Looking as we're already seeing a jungle, I wouldn't be surprised if a jungle pick. It looks like a um, bot lane pet got picked. Looks like we got Zaya coming out. Looks like we won't be getting new Zaya skin until, I think, next patch or two patches away uh, with all those. And as a Zaya player, I am very happy to see that uh, those skins are beautiful. And I'm curious also, we're going to have a who wins in the skin match of... Ooh, Sivir. Okay, that's an equal matchup. They both have a solid range for bot lane. It's really going to come down to our supports. Karma... Karma with Sivir, maybe not the best. You need someone else who can root and kind of hold your target still, or a tank, because you have a close-up far person. Uh, Karma, I would suspect, is going mid here for New Haven. Question, are we going to see a jungle pick? Would be my guess, as jungle's already picked. No, we got a Zaya Rakan. We got the duo coming out today. Okay, they better have matching skins, or otherwise I'm going to be extremely disappointed. <laughs> we got a Lilia ban. Okay, that makes sense, as top lane has already picked their champion, and, and they don't really need to pull out that random champion. And we're going over to New Haven for their pick. Oh, yeah, Sejuani ban. Okay. I'm surprised that we didn't have a jungle pick already. And why they immediately pulled out Pantheon instead of waiting uh, to pick 
top and mid. Why didn't they just play jungle? Uh, having Sejuani in this, having another tank for Ithaca would have been a better option. Uh, it looks like the final ban is Annie. Annie being pretty strong right now. So that is... Uh, and Syndra. That's going to be a mid lane ban on Ithaca. So it looks like they really... It looks like New Haven is not worried at all by bot lane of Ithaca. They didn't do a single ban there, so I wouldn't be surprised if they decide to just focus their game there and just see how much. I forgot we have, we have Redemption still on. I do have a water bottle with me, and I will drink that real quick for you. <laughs> I see the alerts. Don't worry. And welcome to the chat. What is this? As you should. What is his name? General Hydra. You only redeemed it once. I drink once. And he made me miss picks. Looks like we got a um, we got um jungle going over for Wukong and then a I'm so I'm deeply confused now. Why is there two jugglers for New Haven? Okay. <laughs> Hello, hydration man. What is your name? General Dragon Games. Hello, General Dragon Games. We're going into our uh, first match here. Looks like. What is New Haven doing? <laughs> Why is there three junglers? <laughs> Diana can be played mid. Viego. Could it be an Udyr top? I thought Ithaca had weird bands. Power plays. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> and then Cassiopeia, that's going mid. Okay. What is going on? Okay, so my guess here, it's going to be Udyr top. Uh, the counter uh, is with the Pantheon. Oh, hang on. Let me make sure that's not a message to me. Okay. Oh, and they are going into their general picks. Uh, I will find out here in a little bit. Uh, but let's look at this for a second. So we got Udyr probably going top against Pantheon. Sivir Karma against Zaya Rakan. We have Viego against Wukong, and then Diana against Cassiopeia. And now let's see. So they are in pick order. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to actually get this screen going for you guys, sadly. Yeah. Don't have that stream. Don't have that one up for you guys. You see my context for lol is horrendous. I once tried playing. I saw Dragon and that was it. Okay, so Aurelian Soul though has a new rework. Actually, let me translate that. Okay, so Aurelian Soul has a brand new rework and he is a lot of fun to play. Um, what I've been trying to do now is majority, I only, my main characters are uh, Yordles and then I have a dragon and then I play Aurelian Soul. So you just have the smallest champions in the game and the largest champion in the game. It is just to be funny. Because I don't typically play competitively. I did my 10 ranks. And that's it. <laughs> Dragon all the way. I I love Aurelian Soul. His original one. When he had the little like flames going around him. Uh, he just go boop. Boop. It's so funny. Okay. And look see here. We have the Udyr going in top lane. As predicted so far <laughs> and we got the pantheon going in top okay i mean it was gonna be so next up we got our jungle picks let's see uh what we got going on here okay did it get yeah so far okay i'm two for two udyr top here you go okay i got it right 
I got it right. Okay. Udi or Tom, Viego, Jungle, Diana, Mid. Let's go. I know champions. Yes. I've been playing this game for only two years, and I have slowly figuring it out. <laughs> Off to eat the food in dining hall. Let's go. <laughs> Why are you going to the dining hall at Ithaca College? Oh no! Wait, wait, we had a... We are back to the main... Did someone get disconnected? It looks like we have a connection error going to Ithaca... Um, they're gonna have to restart, um, <laughs> I will do another hydration eventually. It looks like, uh, League crashed, uh, for one of the Ithaca players. They're gonna be restarting the game. Uh, that's gonna be one restart going to Ithaca. That is technical, um... That is a uh, technical error so in the game. They did not start a game of record, so Ithaca is okay here uh, to start. Let's just hope we get some contact back from the missing player. I will make another hydration eventually. Well, I'm going to have to make sure I refill my water bottle then. Because this is at like half, I think. It's like here. About, I think. So luckily, they already did draft. They already know. All they have to do is just get their champs picked. And then we'll be ready to go immediately. Go and getting the game started. Looks like he's going to be back online here soon. See his name popping up. Whoever General, General Dragon Games is, I feel bad that you have to eat at the Ithaca College Dining Hall. I sincerely hope you don't die from eating their food. 1v5, let's go. Okay. <laughs> so, they've been writing in the chat. Uh, Crisis, who's currently <laughs> only in Team 2. It goes Team 1, Team 2 in uh, the starting lobby. Um, it goes... Crisis, no one else of Ithaca, and then the full enemy team. <laughs> and I went, ignore him, please, because Crisis seems to go, we're going to do this. Let's go. I know I wanted to start a natural one for five. I don't think you even can, to be honest. Because I don't know who's party leader. Any Actually, no, party leader would have to start it. So image, let's look at these. Wait. I can't show you the game directly. I can't show you guys the game directly, but this is this is a lot of fun here. We're just hoping to get the game uh, here soon. I really hope we don't have uh, any more technical difficulties. Once we get this technical difficulty all sorted out, I will be back with you guys shortly.
everybody, and we are back. Looks like we got the game started here now. I'm getting your uh, scoreboard and your objective timers up for you, for all you viewers at home. Welcome Looks like we got a nice good look. Have fun going from the opponent team, and I will now take off that chat because I realized no, it is off. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. I don't know. <sighs> All right, put your back into it. <gasps> Looks like we do not have a matching skin going on from Zai and Rakan. Oh. Minions have spawned. We had a quick go in from Rakan going on to Karma. Looks like a heal going off from Rosehawk. Flash from uh, Zaya getting out of this fight. And Rakan using his Ignite on the Karma. Looks like we got uh, even trade going off here. We got a uh, fight going off here in top lane, getting a little close to Red Side Tower. We are taking a significant amount of damage. Christ is close behind. Oh, we're waiting for, uh, like, oh, Christ is trying to go in here, knocking down Udyr a little bit more, trying to push Udyr back, looks like Udyr might walk around, we're kind of coming up the, uh, top side lane, we're like, yeah, that just looks like Udyr, we're just placing a ward, and coming back to the fight. Two very aggressive, uh, champions going on here in top lane, constantly fighting compared to the other lanes. Udyr does have to get a little bit closer to Pantheon. Pantheon has a little bit more range on him. It looks like they're still playing very close to each other, though. So we got Wukong coming up to help. Christ is really low on health here and killed by a minion. That is a sad way to go out. Damn. Dang it. Looks like we have... Looks like that will be it won't be a first it won't be a first blood though because it did not it wasn't a player kill so no one got any gold or ex extra XP from that which I guess if you were gonna die early in the game I guess that is honestly the way to go um, just to make sure your opponent didn't really get any full advantage off of it we're kind of going in. Then are going in. Cassiopeia at half health here. Dan Dana dashes. Cassiopeia covering underneath tower. Karma leashing. Rakan pulling in. Rakan rooted, getting hit by uh, Sivers. That 
Sivers Blade? Sivers... What is that? <laughs> I honestly don't know what to call it. <laughs> Looks like the both teams are having at it compared... Uh, not really a single really like downtime going between these two teams. It's constant either uh, minion moving up, getting a little bit of damage back and forth from every lane. Jungles are just vibing in their jungles other than the Wukong appearing in top lane. Oh, we got stun going off here from Crisis using his shield backing off. Dana going in. Looks like we have Viego coming down to bot lane. You gotta be careful there as their ward is currently not being able to be used. Big Wimbo and Rosehog being caught out here by Viego. Zaya's gonna fall first, going first blood to Sivir. Rakan trying to get out of here but dies. Dies to... As it showed up Zaya but it was Viego being Zaya. Oof. The burn. The heart. I must be so sad to die to his lover. Wukong assisting in mid. Trying to help Aluchu get... No, it just looks like he just stole some gold and then left. <laughs> Other than League, guys, I look at... So, Ithaca Esports will be running their... Uh, uh, annual charity stream uh, this month, March 25th and 26th, all day, both days. It'll be writing. Uh, we'll have some uh, faculty and some professors jumping in to play some games. We got our competitive teams looking to get some highlights as well. Uh, but if you want to help out or be in the charity stream, uh, feel free to uh, message in our Discord server. Which you can find in our uh, in the description below. Anyone is willing to help out? Looks like we have Crisis going in. We have Wukong coming in to try and get some hits on a Udi. Or Udi are stunned. Looks like hit the final hit is going to go to Crisis. Looks like that's some revenge from being killed by a minion early in the game. This charity stream, it has not been announced yet of which organization will be used. Uh, we'll be we'll be helping out for the charity stream this year. Um, Karma running in here trying to get uh, a stunned of a Rakan is kind of in the main target here. Rosa getting uh, a little bit too much damage and protecting at all costs. Uh, Zaya Rakan does fall, but Zaya is able to stay alive. Viego finding Wukong in the jungle. Leaving him alone, just trying to get a ward, basically. But we got um, the team here going for um, getting first Drake, uh, and that'll be Hextech Drake with no contention uh, from Ithaca.
So far, it looks like what I said at the start of the match seems to be coming to uh, fruition as um, UNH here is looking to focus bot lane as he's having their jungler down there. As they did pick both of those almost uh, a blind pick, per se. Believing that that would be Ithaca's weak side and looking to be following up there. As they really, as Viego really hasn't been seeing in top lane and Wukong has been seeing majority in top lane instead. Um, Ithaca really going to have to keep an eye on that and see if they're going to have to send Wukong majority in bot lane uh, here soon. I do have chat up on my phone so I can see it. And I see that you have returned General Dragon Games. I see that the dining hall has not poisoned you. Karma dashing in. Karma trying to get a dash if you're charmed. But Rakan, is that using your ult? No recall on the ult though. And that's where the majority of damage came from. That is going to make Rakan fall. If only that ult uh, got back, it definitely would have stunned Karma there, leaving to help Rakan get out of that fight. So we got a fight here going for Harold. That'll be Stormgator Falls in this fight. Crisis able to get uh, a kill off here. Kudo Krailing Crisis. Looking like we just got a back and forth kill here. Leaving majority left uh, for you and H. Leaving Haluchu the last one alive. Haluchu killing Karma. But Diane is going to have to get a triple kill here. Leaving Harold open, but not enough damage there in order to get uh, Harold. So it's going to have to go back to mid lane and leaving it open before any team to get at this point. But there's a good chance here we might see another full fight going on here. We are getting really close to Red Side Tower here. Crisis taking a significant amount of damage. Unable to really uh, get through the amount of shields that Udyr has here. Diana dashing in. Wukong coming in far behind. Diana dashes once again. Dashes again. All over the place. Killing Wukong in the process. Most likely able to get another kill here onto Haluchu. Taking some damage from the tower and backing off. Crisis going one on one with Udyr up here. Very, very low health. Deciding to go in anyways. With Udyr right there. Uh, and that will be first tower fall in mid lane uh, from the Diana and Viego, like leaving them open to get Harold. Zaya so really needs to back here. Now out of this fight, Ruka, 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 Ruka. I just come out. Jesus. It looks like top lane tower for Ithaca has fallen as well. Karma just staying in the top tier bush. Wukong coming in. They don't have a ward there. Wukong coming in to try and get a kill here on Karma. Karma being cornered here by Rakan and Wukong. It looks like we have Sivir and Viego not that far behind. Stormgator kills uh, Karma. Looks like Viego is going to get a kill here on Wukong though. And Diana getting kill on Rakan. 
Luchu coming over at last uh, a little too late, get taking a lot of damage from Viego and falls in that process. Udyr is just running in, knowing that Crisis is, um, no, that was crazy. Crisis is running in on Udyr, even though he has no tower there. And no defensive, uh, place to go. Not 100% sure why, it, no protection from tower. Udyr now gets another free shot, going at top lane tower. Cassiopeia coming in to give some assistance in top lane. Oh, more hydration. <laughs> I was focused on the game! I promise you I am drinking water. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but the sounds of my water bottle. I trust. Okay, we got Wukong coming in here on Udyr. Crisis not far behind, trying to get the kill. It looks like they have to back off. Looks like we have Rift Herald going down here in mid lane, getting a secondary tower. We're going into base now here. Crisis trying to jump in, falling to Viego. Viego now being uh, Pantheon. Killing and destroying another tower. Looks like Deanna is on a roll here. Just following in, trying to kill this Zaya. Looks like that uh, Cassiopeia is going to go down from... Oh, goodness. That was a back and forth kill there from Zaya and um, and Viego killing each other there in this fight. And now Ithaca's base now cracked open with an inhib gone. You have to play really careful here. Looks like our next Drake Chemtrick is up in three minutes. Chris is going in, putting his shield up, trying to get a kill here on Udyr. Udyr has been annoying him this entire game. It looks like he's just not able to do enough damage here directly on Udyr, and it's going to need some assistance here if he goes into another fight with him. Vago also wasn't that far behind. Wukong sees them. Playing it back, playing it safe. Looks like majority of Ithaca is staying in base, staying in a mid lane. Uh, Wukong seems to be the only one that, that is going into a fight here. It is able to get out. Viego jumps in, even though it was under tower. And we're going to get a kill here from Zaya onto Viego. Diana getting a kill on Rakan. Zaya trying to get another kill here on Diana. Diana using her shield. It looks like that's going to be a double kill going off to Diana. Caspia also coming in here. Diana's in the bush. Flashes in and misses their ult. Leaving Crisis and Cassiopeia to leave, uh, pick up the remains uh, and kill off the rest of the minions. With the amount of pressure that UNH has been putting up this entire game, they're definitely not going to really see any pushback here from taking Baron Nasher, and they have claimed it 
with that extra buff, are they, they're most likely just going to rush base. Most likely. Or uh, actually, Dragon's going to be coming up here in about 20 seconds. I shall lurk in the shadows. That is terrifying. Just saying. Chem Drake gonna be coming up in about five seconds here. The only way it's is really gonna be able to get back to this game is if they kill that Drake. But their their base is a little too exposed and open for the take in. It looks like we had Diana dashing in there, Haluchu at uh, half health here. Looks like that is another tower down on Ithaca bot lane. Crisis using his ult to come into this fight. Sivir falling to Crisis. It looks like the rest of UNH is here and is ready to run into this base. They have they have Baron buff coming in. Wukong immediately falling to the Diana. Diana here is just taking no prisoners here. Zaya getting the Udyr to push back a little bit. Seeing that the Viego is right there though, they really aren't going to be safe under this tower. Using ult needs to return it. Dying before it's able to return fully. It looks like therefore it did not root. So we got a teleport coming in here from UNH, and it is Udyr. Karma gonna have to play on the back lines here. Udyr just running in. Just I feel like he's targeting the Zaya here. It looks like we have a lot of damage going down to, we got a uh, Diana using her st uh, stopwatch. Looks like we had a turret destroyed. Um, oh goodness, that was just mass chaos going on. Woody are gonna have to back out of this base as they weren't able to get an immediate takeover from the base, but they, uh, UNH was able to get another tower down. We got a flash going here from Wukong and Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia going in, trying to get some damage here, taking down that shield. Woody is able to get out of that fight. But not with some battle wounds. As he's gonna have to most likely back here. Viego sneaking up here on Stormgator, even though he did have uh, the scene glass. Uh, it looks like that kill is going to go off to Viego and Ithka's down though. Remember, Karma running into the base with Sivir, trying to get some extra damage off here. And it looks like that will be uh, the last tower falling on Ithka's side. Zaya using her old backing, rooting. Zaya's going to fall. Huluchu trying to run back into their base using the laser to kill and get some more damage. It looks like that is going to be first win going to UNH. And I will see you guys back.
everybody, and we are back for game two. And we are getting ready here. We're setting up the draft now. Looks like we have, once again, we have Ithaca on the red side and New Haven on blue side once again. And we are off with our pick bands. Oh, wait, no, this one's a lock. I just realized the strings of my hoodie were lopsided. Oh no, wait, I'm doing- Ow! Stupid beard. <laughs> Looks like our first band going off is, uh, I still did this. There we go, no. Oh my god, I cannot do this so well. <laughs> Looks like we have the set in the O'Day band immediately uh, from New Haven. This is no surprise there. It looks like we have a Maokai Vladimir. The question is, is Ithaca got a ban? Really? Oh, it looks like we got the Pantheon ban. Which I didn't think was that much of a trouble for them. Um, but I'm surprised that they're using three of their bans on one player uh, for Ithaca. Like, that is just, it looks like we have the Karma blind pick first. Which is quite an issue there for bot lane, especially on the Rakan. So it looks like they're going to need to pick a support very much to counter that. Got 10 seconds left on the clock. 7 seconds left on the clock. And it looks like we had a Zaya again. The question is, is they going to do a Zaya Rakan again, or are they going to switch up the supports as the Karma was being very, very mean to the Rakan, basically. So we got a Zyra, okay. That's going to help out with the amount of roots um, that we saw going off of Karma, so that should help out a lot more in bot lane. And we're chilling. They, everyone really likes running this clock down. We're at three seconds. We're at two seconds. They're at one second. We got a Varus. I don't have. I don't hear the League of Legends ping. So it looks like that pick was indeed correct. And we got a. I can't read what that says. Darius. Darius. I was like, what is his name? Giant Axe Man. Basically, mm. um, as we got two other picks, so this is nice to see we have a wide range of champions coming in here from New Haven, and not repeating the champions that they did win with. I mean, they couldn't entirely. As it looks like Udyr was banned, but it looks like we got an Orn, which is good to see. We love our fluffy boy. We love our fluffy boy Orn. So I am not the most familiar with Darius. I'm not 100% sure where he goes. I know he doesn't go mid lane. And I know he doesn't go bot lane. Looks like also it uh, looks like the uh, New Haven is getting rid of the Wukong as well and the Lily are getting Lily and Diana banned as well. That makes sense as Diana was just Killing Ithaca over and over again. So I'm surprised that wasn't the first band, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> and an Annie ban, as we said earlier, Annie is very good right now, so it makes sense to ban her. We got a Jarvan going in jungle. Okay. 
That should help out. I'm not 100% sure where Darius goes, so we're going to have to see where these other champions are to really figure out what our placement is. As we did see that New Haven likes to play junglers. Three junglers on the map, even though not all of them are jungler. Well, not all, obviously. All three can't be in jungle at once. Darius is a top laner. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I don't play top lane. So I'm not for sure with that. Thank you. <laughs> we chill in the top lane. Okay, so that's going to be going against the Ord. So that makes a little bit more sense why the Ord got picked almost immediately after. They tend to generally save that for last. Uh, we got a Sajwani jungle because they didn't ban it. Woohoo. Trying to see what they did. Also, thank you, Johnny Red Live, for helping me on Darius. Um, he also was not very picked very much in my ELO. That is true. We are going to have to see how Orin is going to have to play this. Uh, and we got a Silas. And so... We have some heavy tanks here going out on Ithaca other than bot lane. Um, so this will be interesting to see. And I got to tell them that. Tell them that I am ready as well for this game to start. Hello, as... Let me just... Actually, no, let's... Let's just chill here and check this out for a little bit. So, I love to see what you guys are thinking. I don't know... I know the game. I know the game. I'm not the best at the game. As I know, I completely just messed up Darius. So, let's see. So we got... Or yeah, Orin building Bramble... That would definitely help, but I guess we would have to see what Darius builds. I have zero thoughts. My brain is dead. Um, work, if you're a college student, I feel that. I don't know who is 100% watching. So, yeah, I know one is because I went to the dining hall earlier. <laughs> but I 100% I respect that. I have zero thoughts. <laughs> my first question that goes to my head is typically are we going to have who's going to win the skin game uh, we did have a prestige skin going on from New Haven I had the the four college class a day starting at 8 Oh my lord! <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna trim. I'll leave this up, but I'm just gonna chill basically and chat with you guys until we got the game going. Because I love talking to chat. I know that's not typically what a caster does, but I didn't really have a caster buddy. So if you're an Ithaca student and you wanna help cast with me, because I would love to have a second buddy to talk to, and like, like for example, it's just me. It's just me. Normally we have two boxes here. I can't put the chat on the screen as just policy. We don't know what they're going to say. Um, so we can't we'll put the chat physically on the stream. Um, I'm an ethics student. This is true. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. <laughs> But if you want to help out and um, cast or learn how to cast or learn how to run streams, as I'm currently running the stream and casting at the same time, that is why I'm not in the esports room uh, running the stream because talky. I can't be in the room with them screaming while playing. <laughs> um, so we're going to do that. So we're chilling here. We're running stream and casting, and I would love to have a second caster. So if you want to, you can message me on Discord in the esports Discord, which is down in the description below. And I am glitchy. 
You can also see Brittany Glitchy, broadcast coordinator. Just let me know. I would love to get you set up and helping out. I love to talk to people. That's why I love talking to chat. And we're now currently in the, I believe the, we have 25 seconds till the 2 minutes, 50 seconds delay. Uh, the description below. Yes, the description. It's not really, is that YouTube? So it's not like direct description below. But it's like the description page with all the blocks at the bottom. I love talking to chat. That's why I have my phone up. Hang on. Okay, we're going into the two minute thirty delay. So I have my phone because when I'm in the when your league is very funky on how you stream. Um as when the game opens, um, you can't be in OBS at the same time. Otherwise it turns the stream black. Like it doesn't actually stream the game when you leave the actual game window. Um so I can't really actually see the chat when I'm in-game. So I have it up on my phone. Technically as my personal account. So that's why I'm not typing in that one. <laughs> but yeah, so those of you coming back to chat, we also have... Does it work with Streamlabs or OBS? Well, you can use Streamlabs. We use OBS as our design templates are made for OBS and don't really work well in Streamlabs. Um, and I just use, I've been using OBS longer. Uh, Streamlabs is good if you're just starting out. Uh, they have a ton of really cool free templates uh, to start with. Uh, we have designed all of these, especially a lot of, well, our, the Be Right Back starting soon. All of that is recently designed by one of our new, uh, uh, other stream coordinators, uh, he made them all, uh, he's brand new, he's a freshman, his name's Cormac, he's awesome, he designed all the starting stuff, the overlays you're seeing in the game are made by Manny, who is an alumni, who now works at Riot Games, he's awesome, uh, and he made generally all the overlays that you see, and then the starting Be Right Back stuff was made by Cormac, uh, and then I just took out half of it and went, it's only me, so I, I, I gotta get rid of boxes. And I am an itchy. Ow. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, I didn't know about that. Also, so you guys know, for the good luck, I brought out Saki. If you don't know, this right here is the bird uh, that so Zion Rakan and the Star Garden Universe, they have like owl birds. Um, like they have little animals that like follow all the Star Guardians. This is Zaya's. Her name is Saki. You don't hit pets. I don't know how. Um, okay. I guess size, it would be, this is a standard amiibo, and this is, uh, this is Saki, so, large, but not too big, <laughs> give head pets, <laughs> and then also, also, while the game loads up, we got even more good luck here, we have the Teemo hat, Which is even better. Yay. We, this does not look right. With <laughs> with my headset on. <laughs> and we're getting the game loaded up here. And we are ready to go. I need to click the right thing. Oh wait. I forgot to do the score. Hang on. Blue enemy score. One. There we go. Transition. Now we're in the game. Let's go. Scoreboard. Objective timers and time controls off. There we go. And if you can't tell, look at our little night bat, our night bot doing its job. It is telling you to go follow all of our socials. 
Looks like we got some good team. Um, <laughs> looks like we have uh, some very nice sportsmanship going on here. We got a good look, have fun. That is great to see. I love the. Wait, what? Wait, I didn't know. Wait, I'm confused. I didn't know Nightbot could do that. I love potatoes and I see East. What? Okay, uh, ignore the Sessi finals for Sacramento. Ignore that. I need to check out this. What is going on with this Nightbot? I am so sorry. I don't know why it's just spamming right now and talking yeah. differently. Um, I might have to keep an eye on that. If that gets more crazy, I might have to disable that. Uh, please do not take, uh, control of our, our night bot, please. I, I, I don't know if we realized that that was an option. Oh, okay. Uh, please be nice to night bot. They're just- they're just trying to give our socials. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. No, but thank you for actually doing that. I didn't know that was a thing. The lurk command exists, so I thought it was intentional. I- I don't really know much on the- that end of, um, Twitch. Uh, but I'm gonna have to figure all that out. <laughs> um, there's also a donate command. Yes, that one is- the donate command is there intentionally. Uh, I do know that. Uh, because especially for our charity streams, which is March 25th and the 26th of this month, we don't have our set organization what we're going to have a charity stream going to exactly, but it's gonna be a 48 hour long straight stream of- we got professors jumping in, we got faculty jumping in, we got your all here competitive teams coming in to say hi. And clubs are also stopping by and doing their own segment if you want to participate. Then you just have to message in the esports discord which Nightbot graciously showed you earlier. And we can get you all set up, we are just starting the planning process now. After scuttle might be a mid fight. Our Discord command is back in. What? And a Discord command that. Pre oh! Okay, I gotta mess around with those commands more. Okay, let's get back to this game as I've been focusing a little too much. I joined the Discord, hopefully, be able to try and join. Yes! That would be awesome. And you can individually message me or me tag me somewhere so I can I can definitely uh, talk to you and get those events set up. Anyway, a crisis going in here with Orn. Orn getting dragged out, flashing out, low on health. Looks like we have Jarvan coming in to try and get some help here on Draven. Draven flashing. Not Draven. That's not Draven. Darius flashing. He has a basketball hoop. Trying to whack Jarvan. And that is going to have to go and kill to Darius. Looks like we had a media teleport going off from Orn. Trying to get back there in top lane. And it looks like there was another kill that I entirely missed. And I have no idea who got first blood. So let's see. So it looks like Jarvan died as well. Both to Darius. Sajwani trying to get out of this fight. Jarvan Haluchu Haluchu flashing, trying to getting a burn on a 
Not burn. Well. Okay. Well, it kind of is a burn, but that's not the term. <laughs> oh, the fanatic command is there as a joke as, um... Me and Crisis are both heavy uh, G2 fans. Uh, so they put a fanatic uh, command in. Not 100% sure what it does though. Jarvan Bokink? Well, looks like. Oh! Yeah, okay, coming around. It looks like we also have uh, mid lane coming down here as well. Jarvan helping out in a bot lane. As I did need a lot more help here, especially off a of laughter game. It looks like we have four people now <laughs> chilling in bot lane, trying to get a heavy push there. That's going to be a great help uh, for bot lane. Oh, fanfic. Wow, I completely read that wrong. I heard fanatic. I read the hundred. I like to bring a spreadsheet to links to stories. Oh, Jesus. Oh! Okay, fanfic. So, there's Ithaca fanfic that we read during the charity stream. Uh, that is read by... Uh, one of the alumni who started the club. And they read it. Uh, so that's probably why there's a fanfic command. But my brain was on League of Legends, so I thought of Fnatic. The League of Legends team. <laughs> Looks like we do have Jarvan still focusing a lot more on bot lane. Which is a good help to see after uh, UNH was able to do a solid push there going in bot lane early on. He's just vibing. Storm Gator's just vibing in the bush. He's just chilling. Looks like we also, looks like we got help even going from mid lane too. Coming around. Storm Gator jumping in. Getting a little more hills. Zaya trying to get a root off. Doesn't 100% land a Jarvan falling in this fight to Darius. Luigi is gonna fall back, going back to his tower. What's your plan? All pain, no gain. Ah, come on! Fine! I'll drink the water. I promise you I just drank water. I promise you. Sorry, just trying to get a few more hits off. Watch it. I think this is actually the first time I've seen the basketball Darius skin actually being played. This is very nice to see. It looks like we got a root uh, going on Zyra. Heavy, heavy hit there. Um, from wow, I am. My brain is just combining names right now. That is not. Image material? I'll just say image. Image getting a kill off there on to Rose Hawk. Looks like that goes another kill there on to Darius. Orin may be a tank, but it looks like he's not able to really. Uh, take too much damage here as I'm not 100% sure what is going on here actually. What is he building? Looks like he is possibly doing the Bramble Vest. So that should help. So we got Teleport here. Uchu getting a little bit cornered. Getting out. Ignore the nightbot that says donations for Sessi. That event already happened last semester. Um, so probably if you click on that, I'm not sure 100% sure where to go to, but we are not 
collecting donations for that as that event already happened. So please ignore the Nightbot when it says that. Looks like we got a, a lot of feathers down from Zaya. Possibly doing a recall? Looks like no, we're not going to have a recall on the feathers. That would have helped with a little bit of a root, but there wasn't exactly a gank going on here from Jarvan. So it makes sense not to do an extra root. Uh, Jarvan coming in, trying to help out with mid lane. Blue Chu getting um, Ignite off. Jarvan also stealing... No, wait. Silas stealing Jarvan's ult. There we go. And Hextech Drake is now up for grabs. Grace is trying to do a lot of damage here. On the Jarvan. Jarvan getting a basketball launch. Orin using his ult. Trying to bounce it. Getting hit by a tower. Falling. Looks like it's uh, he's getting a little... Darius is getting a little more damage. But is not falling once again. Orin really unable to touch Darius. And it looks like uh, the ganks from Jarvan is really going to have to go more up the top lane. Yeah, it looks like we do have Jarvan trying to help out in bot lane once again. Positioning's a little funky as he is quite far back. Looks like we're going to have to have a back here. So it looks like that uh, gank is not going to happen immediately right now. Sejuani so coming in. Looks like he did actually know that someone was going to pop in there. Stormgator going all the way down. A little further down. Zaya trying to get a root off. Looks like Jarvan is going to fall in this fight. Various also getting a hit off. Onto Zaya trying to retreat into the bush. Zaya trying to back off. Citrani chasing him down the hill. And it looks like that's going to be another kill. And three kills down. Uh, three people falling to Ithaca. It looks like that's going to be a solid amount of Ithaca's uh, bot lane tower falling. Jarvan coming in here onto Silas. Luchu and Silas. Luchu going in. Luchu flashing out. Jarvan being surrounded by three of UNH members. And uh, Luchu unable to help uh, out his jungler. Looks like we're gonna have to. Looks like we're seeing our first dragon starting to take some damage so far in the game. Once again, no conflict going on. Looks like Ithaca is not gonna contest this uh, Drake. First Drake goes to UNH. That allows all three to go in a bot lane. Zaya, use your ult. No, uh, Anne is able to actually recall the feathers. Unable to actually root anybody, though. Sadly, therefore, uh, Zyra did fall in that fight. At last, the entrance I deserve. Silas stealing Kaluch's ult. Orin is quite angry right now. It looks like that is going to be bot lane tower. Zaya is going to have to get out of here quickly. Need to back those feathers, but is unable to before they die. That would have been a nice route there. Uh, with Jarvan also right behind.
Christ is able to get a solid amount of damage here on Darius using his ult. Silas is also there. He's got to be really careful and make sure Silas doesn't steal. Uh, no, he can't steal the ult building. Never mind. Oh, we have Jarvan trying to come out here and help. Silas sees him. Silas is trying to back here. The question. Oh, we have Zyra as well. Zyra as well. Going all in on this Darius. Orin gets the kill on Darius. Stormgator taking a solid amount of damage there. It looks like we have Lucha coming in. Also on the Darius. On the Jarvan. So oh my goodness. This is a full going fight. We got knock up in the air. Lucha trying to get this kill off. It looks like he's going to fall to Varus. Varus now in this fight. Chasing down the Orin. Orin going under tower. Varus uh, dies to the... Or, no, Varys gets a kill on Orn. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's leaving the Zaya, the only one left the though, and Jarvan is now back up. Uh, that's also going to leave Ref Herald up for the taking. Zaya just chilling in middle. No vision in that area. So, very risky to be putting up that far in that lane. So we have, looks like we have Ithaca moving in. Possibly on to Rift. Rift Herald here. And Darius takes it. That is second tower down in top lane. Darius once again trying to go after this Orn. We have a back and forth fight here. Orn just trying to get back to his tower, trying to get some cover. And he does. Yeah, Orn does fall in that fight. Looks like we have a really great fight here going on. Zai use your ult, missing on the recall. And then we have Haluchu falling in that fight. Looks like we have four people down in mid. Zaya and Zyra and Zaya uh, in mid. Looks like uh, Zaya unable to get out of this fight. Virus. Looks like we also have Rift Herald coming down here in top lane. Jarvan not going in on this fight as Darius is very scary. Zyra also looks like not to be scared. We have a flash going on here from Darius getting out of this fight, but the Rift Herald is still chilling in the base. We have everybody going in onto Kundo here. Looks like we got a flash going on here. Stormgator getting, trying to get this kill on Silas. Looks like Zaya is able to get the kill here on Silas, though. That's Sejuani backing up. Jarvan trying to steal back his own jungle from the Sejuani. Looks like we're going to have a fight here going on on for uh, the second Drake of the game. Sejuani going in onto Jarvan. Take a solid amount of damage. Luchu trying to get in and get some uh, kills off. Jarvan just flashing in. Stormgator falling in this fight. Haluchu trying to get a little more damage off on this Sejuani. Sejuani doing a little more damage to him. And able to get... And, and we have Varus going in. It looks like we have a full other fight going off at the base. Which is Orn and Darius just going at it once again. Darius knocked up in the air. Orin targeting him with the tower. Tower falls. Darius still stays in the base. It looks like that is going to be Orin falling. Zyra trying to get some also uh, some damage there onto Darius. Darius just still once again staying in the base. Rampage. 
Should be back now. There we go. Okay. Focus. Apologies if we missed anything. The the game just took me out of the menu. Back to the menu. Never this looks like with all that crazy fight, that's gonna leave. Um, My brain is just not functioning today. <laughs> it's because, yeah, there we go. Baron Asher, that's what's name. It's not Rift Terror. Baron Asher. Baron Buff. I, I will get this right eventually. There we go. And with that buff, Silas just staying on the map, though. Looks like they are not stealing Ithaca's jungle. He's just going for his own jungle. Um... Really, Ithaca really needed that Drake earlier, uh, and really to push this as they are significantly behind, that Drake would have definitely helped them out a lot. Is I using her ult? Or also using her ult. Okay, it looks like the Rue was able to actually land. That's going to help Orn out here trying to get um, Darius down. It looks like it looks like Cyrus gets the kill on Darius and not Orn. Even though Darius has been annoying Orn this entire game. And now we have UNH charging into the base. Three on three with Baron buff. Four on four now. Silas stealing Zyra's ult. Jarvan jumping in to this fight. Orn trying to get. Looks like we got Orn down to the bottom corner trying to go for various. Stormgator. Next to Jarvan. Haluchu falling. That just leaves Rosehawk left alive, and that is it. Never mind. They are, as they fall at the very end there, the base is now cracked open with Baron Buff. That's going to be the second win going to UNH, making that a 2 0. Best of three. That's going to go to UNH on their win. And that is going to be the end of uh, tonight's match. It's best of three. Good job to both teams. We did see an active play going on. And that was great to see. And I lost where my settings were. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, I didn't download it. Oh, well. <laughs> I forgot to set that up. I forgot to set up my closing stream. Oh no. Well. I want to I want to have this right. Give me give me 1 second. We will we will do this correct because we have where'd it go no I just canceled it we have new stream overlays from our buddy Cormac and I I'm messing it up <laughs> and I want to use it because he sent it to me and I want to use it and make sure it is beautiful. Okay. That is it. Just remember we have this happens. We stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And our next game is going to be Rocket League going on on Friday. And you also hear Korma casting and running that stream. So make sure you say hi to my friend over there. And I will see you, I will see you guys for the Valorant stream on Monday. Good night, guys.
I'm back. I'm sorry. I just read the chat. I missed the hydration. I am so sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay, now we're ending. I promise.